Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Thirsty Thursday Bargain Beer Review time again. And uh, before we get cracking on the beer, um, as you know, on Thirsty Thursday we'll try to explain a couple of last mysteries to you. What was the uh, shroud of Turin, and shouldn't we boycott buying pet food if it's tested on animals? Anyway, up today, something I'm quite excited about is that bad boy, Spitfire, by our good friends at Shepherd Neem. Shepherd Neem, of course, the oldest brewery in the UK. Um, fantastic artwork and livery on that, as you can see. And look at the top of that. Just like the uh, RAF symbol from back in the day when we were all, a, well, actually, probably weren't even born. But um, really looking forward to this. Now, this cost me... Wait for it, one English pound from supermarket chain Little in the UK. They had three um, Shepanine beers going for well, um, three pounds. So this is the first one from the pack. So I'm just going to get me a bottle opener. Oh. Hello. Um, and here it is. Now, recently in it's been VE Day. Sorry, be careful when you say this. VE Day. Um, this was originally, as far as I'm aware, a commemorative ale that was done, and it was such a success, um, Shepherd Neem continued with it, and it hit their full range. Um, Spitfire, of course, the most famous plane from the Second World War, um, took to the sky. Right, let's get this bad boy popped open. It's almost a shame, actually, because of that beautiful crown, but here we go. Ooh. A little bit of cannon smoke, but not a lot, or should we say gun smoke in this particular case. Now initially, you do get that uh, Kentish ale, that, you know, that nice sort of s sticky toffee type smell come through, but let's see if this, uh, give this a pour. I'm going to have to force it a little bit. Just pop, pop the bottle down. Right, colour-wise, whatever I reckon, that's, to me, that is what I call a classic brown, which is, some people might argue and say it's sort of a, you know, dark copper, but that's, to me, the classic English brown colour. Head-wise, what we got on that, that's uh, what, one and a little bit, although dissipating because of the uh, carbonation on, on the pour that, I, um, that I got in, but I do love that colour. Carbonation-wise, look at that, that's... Uh, that's absolutely spot on, isn't it? Absolutely spot on. Right, let's go in for a sniff. Mmm. Um, citrus on there. Um, without being overly zesty. It's faint herbal coming through. Um, but maybe a little bit top heavy on toffee. But that's a, uh, mmm, that does smell delicious. I'm going to go in for a taste. Cheers, uh, ladies and gents. Very good health for one and all. Ooh. Um, that's quite, quite woody, earthy, maybe a little bit tobacco -y. It's that quintessential classic Kentish ale taste and twang. Um, if you've had like, maybe the, any of the Kentish ales from, from our friends at Shepparding, you'll know that that, that that little bit of that little bit of twang that you get on there. Um, you know, for instance, you get some of the beers from the Burton on Trent part of the world in the UK that have the Burton sulphur from the water, and they call it the uh, is it the um, Burton snatch. And again, be careful putting that into uh, into Google. Um, Mm. The mouthfeel on it is, it, it feels quite sticky, you know, it's got that, that nice gloopy, you know, nice Kentish ale. Mm. It is dry on the finish, um, and it's got some very nice bittering on the aftertaste. Let's just bear with one sec. Bang, the bitter kicks in. So, 
that's probably what, about three, four second delay until it sort of really starts coming through in your mouth. Um, I like that. Um, as I say, it's normally in the UK that's about um, your obligatory you know, £1.97 to £2 uh, for a bottle, but as I say, absolute bargain uh, when I've got it. If you see one, by all means pick this one up because it's a fantastic beer. Um, also available in most pubs that do the Shepherd's Name, it's always on uh, on draft as well. Um, yeah, really, really cool. Score out of 10. I am going to give that an... I'm going to give that an 8.5 out of 10. Top brewing guys, um, as I say, VE Day just gone in the UK at the time of fielding. Not sure when this will get uploaded, but... Um, yeah, always worth a go, everyone. As always, that's me done. Thank you very, very much for watching. And um, see you again soon for another episode of Thirsty Thursday. Cheers, guys. Be seeing you.